the slushy from Sonic. And then maybe if she's not at work, somebody could take her olive garden. But otherwise, pasta fajol and breadsticks. No parmesan on anything. That would be awesome. That, my friend, can be arranged. Hey, Nick. Just wanted to thank you for coming by. I'm making sure and getting in some Christian metal music therapy. Got my foot in my hand going. Do some Mad at the World. And some Holy Soldier. And some Striper. Whenever they cycle through. Love you, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, hey, Titus Paul. Thank you so, so much for my happy balloons. I'll give you guys big hugs. Maybe upside down jungle hugs. Next time I see you. Love you lots, Uncle Paul. wishes. I'm sorry it's being spent in the hospital, but I know you're in the best hands there are. Love you. You want to hear more? You want to hear? Giselle Rogers? Is that somebody from church? Continually praying for you all. Praise God for the little improvements and stable CT scans. Praying for no setbacks. May you rest in his loving arms and gain strength from it. God be with you all and happy 25th anniversary. Shelly Erkman says happy anniversary to a wonderful couple. Praying for a celebration soon. More healing and rest every day. Uh, Josephine Hockenberry. We want to wish you a happy anniversary. I know it's not the way you wanted it, but God has plans to help you and Misty. We love you and uh, know that you guys are not alone. And Gary and Lindy, Gary and Linda Rinderly said, thank you for the update. We're continuing to pray for God's healing touch on you and thankful for each improvement, no matter how small. It's improvement and God is working. Hugs to you. Sounded like your so knees. Was my name, yes. uh, uh, <laughs> knees are horrible. My, my knees are good. They both do it. Crackling, Sarah? Yes, my knees are stuck. Crackle, puppy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
feed and let it grow and see how long it gets for a mirror. <laughs> See if you can get a job as a lumberjack when you get out. Yeah. Last year to the yurts at Ridgeway for two nights. Because she remembers camping and she was a little girl. But what she remembers is crawling into her grandparents' pit wheel. It's like we were the ones in the tent. We weren't camping. I can't even go. It's going to roll up on my birthday. So we went to the yard originally. Do we have a comb or something in here already? He just wants a bath. Do it like uh, the Wolverine. Which way does this normally come? It'll go either way, so straight back to your farm. Okay. I normally do it from left to right because I get more height. But straight back is fine. At this length. If I do it from right to left, it will occasionally flat. Hey everybody! I miss you guys so much. I want to thank you all for your encouragement and cards and gifts and flowers, especially prayers. I should be getting out of ICU today, so next week you can come by and see me for 10 minutes and pray with me or I can pray for you. And uh, hopefully we'll be back next Sunday or the Sunday after. We sure miss you all and we sure know that we that you love us and are praying for us. Thank you so much. Biggest fan, my sister. <laughs> um, does that mean you're feeling nauseated or just a little mean? bit from my workout? I was getting a little hot, so okay, they cool me off. How is today compared to previous days? I know yesterday was a little bit better. Yeah, are we still today in that territory. I or? think so. Yeah, I'm hopeful. So okay. Yeah, today got off to a little bit of a slow start with. I got medicine right before the workout, so I called them at 8, but they they have a training student, so it took a long time to get, get the meds. Yeah, so I got the meds right before workout and haven't gone potty yet, so things are, things are a little bit behind, but overall I'm hopeful for a good day. 
How is the lightheadedness component? Um, it feels about like yesterday. It feels a tiny bit better. Okay. With my blood pressure closer to 110, it feels better than with it at 99. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I went ahead and, so we decreased your core egg the other day. Yeah. Went ahead and decreased your lisinopril this morning. Thank you. Uh, and we'll just keep an eye on that, how much yeah. drop you're having there. Great. Um, I think maybe we've just pushed those medicines a little harder than we needed to. Yeah. Um, how about the turning your head dizziness? That's improving a little bit. Still there? Yes, but okay. it's improving. Well, we started... The medicine for that, when you started to say it was doing better, yeah. was Ativan. Yes. And we started at a pretty low dose. Yes. Would you like to try a small increase and see uh, what we get for it? Okay, yes. Okay. Now, do you have, right now I'm just giving you some doses during the day. Are you having that, that turning your head symptoms, are you having those at night? I don't move much, but I do have it a little bit, yes. Would you like some doses at night? Maybe we could just keep them small and keep them more often, yes. Okay, so so let's go to three times a day instead of two. Great. And go to 0.5 instead of a quarter. Okay. Um, and then, let's see, what is something else? You know, the other thing that could be causing some of the lightheadedness, you got started. It started to settle down as we worked out. Still, still pretty jumpy now. Yeah. Um, let's see how my arm is doing. Uh, okay. So maybe a hair better than yesterday, but still right. maybe more than. That's what I would say too. Um, would you like to try to bump up the baclofen a little bit and see if we can? Calm that down further. I'd like to wait till tomorrow. If Do we all can. the other changes first, and yeah. then. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I don't think it's urgent. So. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right. We'll hold that off for tomorrow. Then. Thank you very much. All right. Well, it's nice to see you. Okay. Thank you, Doctor H. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. On That's funny, she just just opened them for you. It's just all twisted with the fan uh, around that. Yeah. Yeah. See when he's good down. Okay. <laughs> Can you go that way? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna make sure we're in the right place. That's probably when she'll be here is when he has session around okay. two o'clock. Yeah. Because the nurse was saying she was doing a little bit with them there and yeah, he was doing good. Yeah. Uh -huh. You want my slip-on shoes on? Sure. Get underneath, I think. Yeah. How's the hand feeling? Uh pretty numb, but 
Pastor Mike said, Brennan has been someone that's like, you know, the fam- their family's stupid, their dad's stupid, the world's stupid, everything's stupid. And, uh, looks like they're always getting there, so don't be surprised if some of that comes out. But I just want to remind you how much he loves you. And I can tell that, you know, obviously one of his love languages is physical touch. I mean, he's always bumping into you, he always wants you to rub his head or hold him or something. I just want to encourage you to, to pour into that, that he needs it. I mean, you might not need it, and Ty, Ty might not, but the like Zechariah does, so just go for it and love on him. And Each of your boys in different ways are going to be like you, and in different ways going to be like Lisa. So I just wanted to remind you, I mean, you're already aware of it, but but I don't think Zechariah is much of a fighter. I mean, I do believe he would stand up and protect people, but he's got a big, big, big heart. And so I just want to encourage you to encourage that in him. It's, uh, you know, he is different from you in that, but encourage him in it. You know, when you see something that's moving him, to ask him, why does that bother you? Why does that, why do you care about that? And then challenge him, what should we do about that? What does God want us to do? Or what does he want us to pray about that? You know, whether it's a, homeless guy that needs a hamburger or some little kid that needs shoes or whatever. I believe that God, you know, that God's given him a a pretty sensitive heart for people, kind of more like your yeah. wife probably. And so I just want to encourage you to affirm him that that's a good thing, that he doesn't have to be just like you in all things, but he should be like how God made him. Ty Ty's going to be a little bit more like you in some other areas. That'll be good and fun too. But mm. Yeah, years ago when Isaac was in that funky stage, man, I was on his case. It's like, get it together, you know. Be nice to just be nice to mom, blah, blah, blah. And like literally the whole spirit one day was like, dude, you're not his drill sergeant. Mm. You're his dad. I'm like, oh, yes, yes. Back off. Quit trying to line them out all the time. You know, we just want so 
much good for our kids. Uh, yeah, and that's something that this pause has helped me with with my kids. I've, I've told Isaac a couple times, I love them, I'm proud of them. It's, it's so easy to focus on a few little things that I want him to improve on or change. To forget um, the vast amount of stuff that he's on track with and doing well. And so I just was trying to remind him that I love him and I'm proud of him. But, See, yeah, it's easy to gripe about he didn't take out the trash or he needs to put away his clothes or blah, 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 that I, there's little things that I want him to do, but hey, he's not on marijuana, his girlfriend's not pregnant, <laughs> he loves Jesus, and he's trying to be a missionary, like, what have I got to complain about? All right, and he's a good kid. Yeah, and you know, overall he is, he doesn't do everything the way I would want him to, but he does listen, he listens to God, so hey, he's not me, go figure, the world doesn't need none of me. Well, I think the world does pretty good with, with you and could use a couple more of you. It might get on my nerves. <laughs> hey, Here Miss Brianna Marie Bridgewater, you know what today is? Today is the day before I get out of the hospital. I also heard today is your birthday. It's 11 o'clock, so you still got an hour left to do something really fun on your 21st birthday. Safe and fun. But anyways, Shadow's helping me. Just wish you a happy birthday. I love you. I'm so proud of the woman of God you're becoming. And I pray that you weren't only blessed today, but that you'll be especially blessed all year long with lots of love and God moving in your life. All right. Good night, Miss Bree Bree. Love you, second daughter. Bye. That right there is finger movement. Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Hey, Pastor Paul, how are you doing today? I'm good, Shiloh. How are you today? You know, I'm doing good. I thought we might go to lunch today, and maybe, just maybe, I might let you, I don't know, Drive the vehicle. What do you think about that? Drive the vehicle? Are you sure? Follow me. Okay. Make sure Uncle Paul doesn't follow. Look how awesome you are. Oh, I'll get it. I Out got it. His pocket. Yeah, I got it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, hold that. That would be a walking oh. Pastor Paul with a cane. A cane of amazement right there. How God is blessing him and fixing him and healing him. All right. Here, ta -ta. There we go. We're going to start with a really large vehicle, so if you do hit anything, it's going to be okay. Of course. Because that's like a tank. Got it? <laughs> Get the butt in there. Yeah. Oh, we gotta hold on. Hold on. Got it? Got it. Alright, we got it. He's in there. Alright, so here I am in the passenger seat. <laughs> Pastor Pastor Paul is there in the driver's seat. No, no, no. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. I've been practicing in therapy. We'll see how we do. Yeah, turn it, turn it a little bit. Open the granola bar, please. Go open your granola bar, please. No. There you go. We're going to lunch, dude. All right, we have ignition. We're gonna do some left-handed driving. He, he got a seatbelt on by himself, no help. I'm not helping him. Ah, praise Jesus. 
lights are the lights on automatic. Lights are on automatic. Okay. All right, and here we go. Got some left-handed driving, some left-footed driving. And let's see if uh, McGuffey Klein's going to get a new uh, vehicle today. <laughs> That's on the steering wheel, the fat part. There All it is, right. got it. All right, so, where are we going to lunch? Your choice. Yeah, well Titus has his heart set on Del Taco, so let's go there. All right. Two against one, Daddy. <laughs> oh, two against now it's two one. against one, hot huh, tie. Silly monkey face boy. All right. Can we see the whole video? Yep. Man, it looks like he's doing pretty good so far. He even came to a complete stop at the stop sign, which I got pulled over the other night for not doing a complete stop. I told the uh, I told the officer, I said, it was a California stop, and he goes, <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it, wow. He wouldn't even give you credit for that. <laughs> nope, not even credit for a California stop. So he, uh, he asked me where I was going, and I said I was going home. I said I worked for Schwann's, and... And uh, my day started at 9.30, and it was it was about 9.30 as it was, so, that night. So, uh, he, he didn't uh, give me a ticket, thank the Lord. Amen. So, just so, just to prove that we're driving, there's the fire station. There's the speedometer, so he's doing pretty good. He's got his left hand going. He's swerving a little bit, but that's just normal driving for him. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. Swerving just a <laughs> this is this is the first time he's uh, driving since uh, since this happened. So January 16th, probably. January 16th, so January, February, March, April, May 16th. Yeah, so about five months, and and he gave me the honor. Of letting the one uh, be the first crash victim if he does crash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that airbag on? The airbag is on. Because it has a weight sensor on it. And trust me, <laughs> I activate it. Tai Tai on the other hand, he doesn't activate the weight sensor. No. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm glad it's not raining. Praise the Lord for that. It was down down in Junk uh, by Taco Bell, Del Taco a little bit, but it's all right. gas -o meter Pay no attention to the gas -o meters We're going to Del Taco. We'll be fine on gas. Yeah, we're all getting gas now. Eat food, get gas. Yay. So I'll uh, I'll send this to your doctors so they oh, can. Oh, good. So they can approve you for driving. And a therapist, yeah. I think you're doing pretty good. Oh, thank you. I can actually feel the pedals of my foot, so that's a good sign. So you are driving with your actual... I'm actually driving with my actual right foot. Wow, I thought, I thought you'd be driving with your uh, left foot, but praise the Lord, you're driving with your right foot. That's awesome. And he's obeying the speed limit. Who is this guy? Speed limit. 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 You know what? You know what the first letter in speed limit is? L. You know what that stands for? I thought it was S. Lame. Limit. Lame. It says 45 on the side of the road and. And everyone who leaves church normally does about 65 on this road. I'm just saying. 65. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I do 45. I've never done, you know, I've never sped before in my life. Oh, One single time. Lord, don't strike me down for that. Yeah, Titus and I are innocents in the car. We do have innocent bystanders in the car, Lord. Thank you for take, uh, taking them into consideration. Yes. <laughs> oh, man, you're doing good. I'm telling you.
I'm actually not scared, which is. <laughs> I kind I kind of had a little nerve a little nerves going into it. <laughs> the other day I told him, "Hey, I'm gonna let you drive," and he's like, "Okay." And you're like, "What did I just say?" <laughs> the words came out of my mouth. <laughs> Too late now. But no, he's doing real good. In fact, uh, he's probably going to be cleared to drive his own car up here any day. So. God is good, I'm, you know. Amen. Just to see, just to see what God is doing in your body is just, and just amazing. And and it's well needed for the faith of not just you but many other people in our church. I'm so thankful for everybody that's been praying. Yep. Well, this is a good opportunity to, uh, for me to show my wife that I love her too. So I'll go ahead and fill up her car. Yeah, hopefully before we run out of gas. Ah, we won't run out of gas. Hopefully. Because if we do, you're pushing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm actually going to sign off because I think you've done really good. And and uh, I got seven and seven minutes and twenty three seconds worth of video to Yikes. edit to show the therapist if we need to and praise the Lord, God is good and and all that good stuff. All right, bye.